Welcome to the 7th Annual Local Government Academy Graduation Ceremony. Would you please rise for the presentation of colors by the Broward Sheriff's Office on the park. Tonight we will have the Pledge of Allegiance led by one of the youngest members of our class, Ms. Lily Woodward. Lily? very brief. As you can hear, I am so out of breath. So instead of my long hour speech, just like the State of the Union and everything, it's going to be very brief. So here it goes. The City of Oakland Park is proud to be known as an engaged, inspired, and united community. And I am pleased to say that the 2011 class continues to be all of that and more. At this time, I would like to thank the City Commission for the support and the funding. Remember, you guys got fed every Thursday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whenever you run into a commissioner, please thank them for providing funding for the food. It was the City Commission that first advocated and approved the concept of the Local Government Academy. And we have offered the class once a year since 2005. And we are honored tonight that that members of the commission could be with us tonight. On behalf of everyone associated with the Local Government Academy, as a participant or a presenter, we would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to Mayor Suzanne Boyvenu, <laughs> Vice Mayor Anne Easterly, who's also a past LGA class speaker, Commissioner John Aldonado, also a past uh, LGA graduate. <laughs> we also have Commissioner Sherry McCartney, who's also a past, a past LGA class speaker. <laughs> Commissioner Jazz Shank, who's also a past LGA graduate, had a prior commitment, commitment and is not able to be with us here tonight. But to all of the members of the commission, thank you, thank you, thank you. As you can see, LGA graduates continue to make us proud. In fact, we are proud to boast that 75 to 85 percent of our local government academy graduates have gone on to serve on city advisory boards, became active with their homeowner, neighborhood, or condominium associations, or they joined one of our many organizations such as the Open Park Main Street, the Open Park Kiwanis Club, the Historic Society, and the Community Volunteer Corps, which, by the way, is hosting a cleanup this Saturday at Collins, 9 a.m. I was told I had to put in a plug for <laughs> The LGA never becomes routine or complacent. As we have seen, each class evolve and develop their own distinct voice and personality. I'm not sure if I was just moody, because you know it's not like I'm playing or anything. <laughs> but I thought there were some strong personalities in this year's class. I have to admit, when I said be honest on the evaluation forms, I meant it until I got your feedback. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, I'm going to announce it publicly. 
that we will check the air conditioner, <laughs> the coffee will be made, the PowerPoint will be checked three times before class began, and I will not be pregnant. <laughs> My bad, that's a different speech. <laughs> that's a whole different speech. Back to, back to this speech and tonight. In addition to identify, identifying a new generation of city leaders and fostering a learning environment where they can gain in-depth look to how Open Park delivers services to residents and businesses, the Local Government Academy complements the city's strategic plan and several of our key strategic performance areas, such as customer-focused service, protecting our neighborhoods, and marketing Oakland Park. One of the most important performance areas of our city strategic plan is protecting neighborhood integrity. And one of the best ways to enhance the quality of life in our neighborhoods is by empower empowering the residents such as yourself to play a larger role and have a stronger voice on how to make each of your neighborhoods the best they can be. While each of you will forever be part of Local Government Academy's past, the much more important aspect of this evening is that you are now part of Open Park's future. The LGA class of 2011 will never go away because knowledge and education is something that can never be lost <coughs> once it has been gained. The LGA class of 2011 has already planted seeds that are starting to sprout in Oakland Park and will continue to grow and nurture into something we all can take tremendous pride in. I hope you will agree with me that Oakland Park Local Government Academy class of 2011 was an experience that will never be forgotten. On behalf of City Manager John Stunson and all of the city staff, we hope this is the beginning of your involvement and commitment to your city. Maybe I will see you at a city commission meeting. Last night went to 11. We can spend quality time together. <laughs> Perhaps at a community roundtable meeting. Or maybe at one of our many city events. Thank you for giving up your time on Thursdays. I hope they were as enjoyable for you as they were for me. Now it's my pleasure to introduce the 2011 class speaker, Mr. Alfred Smith. At the beginning of the class, I normally see glimpses of leadership. When Al came out a little bit at a time during the sessions, you know, every now and then he would say something and, and get a look, an evil look from one of his classmates. And I said, that is leadership. <laughs> but let me tell you a secret. Remember, what happens at LGA stays at LGA. <laughs> he confided in me that he was actually excited about making this speech. And he told me he was going to nail it. <laughs> so no pressure. Um, no, 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 no. With that introduction, are you ready? I'm ready. Please, let's welcome the 20, 2011 Local Government Academy class speaker, Mr. Alfred Smith. <laughs> well, first, I'd like to thank the LGA for giving me the opportunity to speak uh, tonight, and um, it was been great to get to know everyone in the class. And uh, the class was very informative, and we had uh, everyone who gave their presentations were excellent as well. And I'd like to thank you all for spending your time Thursdays to do that. I know that's uh, it's very tough when you're working all day to come and do something like that. So uh, we're very appreciative. And I want you to know how important it is to me, but to the class as well, because we really get to know about the city. And um, for me, who didn't know that much about how everything works, I found it very informative. And to get to know people and see all the different departments and everything working and function, um, uh, was uh, really good to see. Some of the better presentations that we saw, they all were great, but the fire department was great. Um, and of course we had Fred, who was in our class, who has been on the force for so many years, I don't even know. Fred, how many years was it? Like 28. 28. 28. 28. 
Um, hey. So that was amazing. Yeah. We had the BSO with uh, Manja Mike, who uh, was in our class as well. Uh, that was, uh, Mike's been on the force for 20 years, right? But, yeah. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, the class is uh, really good. Um, <laughs> one of the last classes we had we um, um, was the public works where we got to see the sores and Joe was one of the uh, ones who uh, presented that, that was excellent. And um, uh, we got to see the 30 foot pipe with all the, all the bad stuff in Oakland Park. <laughs> But uh, I had to prepare the speech, so I was really nervous about giving it. I started looking through all the bios and just to learn about everybody, and it's kind of amazing, really, about where everyone's from and uh, all the things people like to do, like one person uh, race the concrete canoe. Um, that's kind of amazing, and, and there was, uh, these are people that work for the city. Um, one person went down the Nile and studied earthquakes. I thought that was pretty amazing. Um, and then there was this one guy, though, that I was reading that I thought was truly the one that I had to bring forth. And I wanted to read his bio. I won't say the name or anything, but I just wanted to read it. I'm a cool, laid-back guy who loves to walk on the beach. I like romantic novels and chick flicks. <laughs> I'm somewhat athletic and I'm quick with it. <laughs> so that's one of the bios I, I thought of. <laughs> so I was like, that's pretty good. I like that. So um, I like to just end right, uh, I like to end by just saying, um, you know, there's no better time to be alive than right now. There's no better country to live in than this one. And there's no better city to be a part of than Oakland Park. Yeah. We would like to present to Marie. And is Sharon here? She's not here. Sharon couldn't make it. Okay, so we would like to present from the class a token of our appreciation. I know we can't buy anything, so we wanted to give her some flowers in recognition. And I said, we have a strict no gift policy. You guys did not listen to me. But that's okay, because I believe the city manager allows us to accept flowers. Correct, Mr. Simpson? <laughs> 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 I'll confide in the mayor and see what she has to say. Oh. <laughs> 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 Thank you. I'll have, to, I'll have to check with the commission. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alan. You yes, you do. Nail that speech. Thank you again. Could we give him another round of applause? Now we would like to introduce the members of the city commission that are here so they can say a few words before we have the presentation of the certificates. Mayor, Vice Mayor, Commissioners. First, I'd like to recognize the city manager, John Stunson. Um, John Stunson is the only one that gets to stay. We go by term limits. So, <laughs> John, the I'm the only one that runs every two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the Open Park City Commission, I would like to welcome the Local Government Academy members, your guests, and city staff to our seventh annual Local Government Academy graduation. I'm counting on each of you to help us strengthen the bond between residents and City Hall. There are ten principles that I have always been guided by through my career as a nurse and my seven years on the City Commission, and which will guide me during my term as mayor. Accessibility, accountability, cooperation and collaboration, 
communication, diversity and inclusiveness, innovation, openness and transparency, public participation, respect and responsiveness. This is a great time to be a part of Oakland Park and we do have a bright future. We are a city on the rise and we possess everything that we need to succeed because we have you. As your new mayor, I'm committed to building upon our success and moving our city forward with the help of my colleagues. But I'm also committed to creating an unprecedented level of openness, transparency, accessibility, communication, and service in Oakland Park. Let's work together to develop programs to ensure the public trust, to establish a culture of transparency, accountability, public participation, respect, and responsiveness. A successful community is all about building. Building relationships to be a cleaner and safer place to live. Building better parks for children, adults, and even dogs can enjoy a place and appreciate nature and provide the quality of service that residents expect and deserve. When I look out across our LGA class this evening, I see a room filled with strength, talent, and potential to achieve excellence in all of your endeavors. The LGA is a two-way investment between the city and you, the participants. You've invested your time and your trust with us. You wanted to learn how the city operates and delivers its service. We measure the success of any investment by the dividend that it pays. As your mayor, I can say that any person interested in learning about their local government is worth investing in. Thank you again, and we look forward to working together to make Oakland Park the best place it can be. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. As a member of the very first class of the LGA, I, I am amazed every year to see how much bigger and better and stronger it's becoming. But I am a little disappointed to hear there are coffee problems this year. <laughs> we had to fight for coffee our first couple of classes. So uh, it, it's maybe, you know, they always have something you need a little bit of improvement on. Let's work on the coffee. It's really important after working hard all day. You all have gotten a tremendous amount of information. You've made a great commitment to this city. But whether you realize it or not, the real benefit is going to be to your community, your neighbors, your friends. Before you know it, you're going to be talking to someone who says, I just don't know who to go for because I have a question about, and you're going to say, I know the answer. And from that, you're going to grow, you're going to become even more important a part of the community. You can see from the fact that four members of the five on the commission are all LGA graduates that there's, there are big shoes waiting for you to be filled, to fill. Um, advisory boards, uh, involvement in your neighborhood, there's just so much that you can do to help the community become bigger, better, stronger, and make it an even more wonderful city than it already is. So thank you for your sacrifice, for your time, and we look forward to seeing you around a lot at commission meetings, on advisory boards, seeing your applications in the mail, um, we look forward to getting you even more involved. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. I'm a parade of politicians. Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah. um, congratulations. Uh, I'm very excited for you because I was very excited when I did this. I thought this was a unique thing uh, for this city and a unique thing for, as far as I know, any city in this county. And it's a wonderful thing, the opportunity to really get to know how your government works, because after all, all politics is local, and you'll find that out if you haven't already. Uh, let me echo my colleagues in, in saying that I'm very excited that you will now participate, probably at a greater degree than ever before in our city. We look forward to working with you. We always look forward to hearing from you, but we look forward to seeing what you're going to do to help make our city greater. Thanks very much. Yeah.
last year. <laughs> um, well, I know you guys are all really tired from senior week. Um, and tonight's a big night. <laughs> Congratulations on your graduation. Um, it, it is very exciting. And uh, Commissioner Salee and I actually were, were, uh, were classmates during the first uh, LGA. And it was exciting. It was really great to meet the staff. Uh, I think that the staff have done a fantastic job, and I think uh, they deserve a round of applause for everything. That they've done. <laughs> it's really great to get to know them because uh, you all will be involved. You all will continue to be involved uh, in boards and, and, and perhaps even uh, as candidates and, and future city commissioners. So um, it's great to get to know uh, to know each other, to get to know some of your fellow residents. And you can reach out and engage with some of the other neighborhoods because I think that is what's incredible about Oakland Park is, is how engaged, uh, connected, and participatory that we are. So uh, congratulations again and, uh, and good luck. Graduates, are you ready?
Next we have Lauren Kiefer. Next we have Miss Lily Woodward. been recognized uh, for this event annually 
and has contributed greatly to the cohesiveness of our community and is community building at its best. And also, kind of behind the scenes, you'll see a lot of city employees. We have one of the best cadre of municipal employees, I think, in all of Florida. I agree. And that's, and, and I think it is. That, that couldn't happen without the leadership of the elected officials that sit in the dais uh, every two weeks. So I'd like to ask you to applaud our elected officials. Yes. And, and, and not the least of which, everybody that's on staff is uniquely qualified to do their job. And uh, we'll read a, um, kind of a, I think, Harris mentioned uh, having free safety. Marie is kind of the free safety of our office, the manager's office, multi-talented, but uniquely qualified to build relationships. Uh, how she gets away with dismissing the commission off the stage, <laughs> and I just never know. I could never do that. But I'd like to end the evening with a round of applause to the staff and especially to Marie. Yes.